Pizza's here. Pizza. Oh shit, that looks sick. No. Ah, no. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and I came across something called light painting slash long exposure photography. And I kind of wanted to try that out, which is why I'm out here. It has to be uh, dark at night. Uh, my brother's gonna come out in a bit. He's gonna be helping me out, setting it up. And uh, we'll see if we can get any uh, really cool pictures today. So before we start, we gotta get some things ready. So I'm gonna go inside and get some stuff out. Okay, so some things you'll need if you want to try this out for yourself are a tripod, camera, some light prop, and maybe somebody to help you out. All right, so again, if you want to follow along, make sure that your camera has a uh, setting for ISO to change it out. I'm going to put mine at 100, uh, and then we're just going to start with that. So for the ISO, we want it to be low so there's not much noise on the image once we take it. Then for the, uh, the next setting, for the aperture, for the lens, I'm going to start at 9, see how that looks. So we don't want a lot of light to go in. So a uh, high number for the aperture means that the uh, lens is going to be really close up. Yeah, shutter speed. I'm just going to use bulb. Your camera might not have bulb, but you can always put it at uh, shutter speed at maybe 2 seconds or 4, 8, maybe all the way up to 30. The shutter, again, it's going to be in bulb. So I just manually control it with my phone, my camera. It's a Canon M50. So I can connect it through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. I can just press the uh, button on my phone. It'll start taking the shot and then I can just press it again and it'll stop so that way I can manually control it for the the lights we have them on right now but it's actually has to be dark so we're gonna just turn them off in a bit and yeah we're gonna take a couple of test shots and see how it goes Alright, so as y'all can see, I'm pretty happy with the test shots that we took. So I think I'm going to leave the uh, settings the way they are. And now we have some uh, light up little rings and uh, obviously the light bar. We have some Christmas lights back here. So we'll try to do something like that. We have some finger lights as well in here. And for this, we're thinking of, we're thinking of um, taping them up and then just throwing this out and see how it looks. Right now we're going to use the Christmas lights here and uh, we'll see what kind of cool pictures we can get. I'm just going to spin them around. All right, so the last thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting uh, some finger lights on this uh, Frisbee, and then we're gonna be throwing that at each other and see what we can come up with. Fuck! <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Pizza's here. Oh shit, I look sick. No. Ah, no. <laughs> we tried to throw this around. As you can see, the lights didn't stick. So if we do it again, we might use better tape next time because you can see the lights are just scattered on the floor right now. But I think we got a good picture first. 
All right, so that about does it for the photo shoot. I think we got some really cool pictures today uh, for it being the first time. Um, this one's my favorite probably out of all of the ones we took. Uh, I really like the way I was able to kind of get everything traced out on the air. The link to my Instagram will be on the uh, description. Let's so go ahead and go and follow me. If you try this, uh, tag me on the pictures. I want to see what you come up with. Uh, if you do, and if you go there, you can see the pictures that we took tonight. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, we might try this again. Change some things, get better tape, because the uh, frisbee kind of didn't work out, but we'll see you next time. Alright, later.